If you, a lot of us want to own a DS bike as well, so what it requires for us to own it as well as maintaining it, two separate things, so if you guys can put uh, some light on that as well. Sweet. Hey guys, how's it going? Like he said, I'm Barun and uh, you know, part of Trail Next Look. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. We do some stupid shit. One camera or so goes down forever and uh, <laughs> kids can eventually laugh at us. So w one, one question we keep getting is like, uh, so everyone keeps asking us, so they want to buy a full suspension bike, but they don't know what to get. Do they go for a Scott? Do they go for a Specialized? Do they go for a Giant? What full suspension bike do you go for? So what I always tell them is that, fuck it. You know, it doesn't matter, brands don't matter. Uh, I'll give you an example why. So. Right now you see Marin, right? You see Marin anywhere else? It's just the frame. So 90% of the bike is the frame that comes from the manufacturer. Everything else is bullshit. It's all from other companies. You're going to get a rock shock uh, or a fork suspension. Tires are going to be from someone else. Your rims are going to be from someone else. Your handlebars are from someone else. Your seat, your drop post, everything is from someone else. The problem with India is we don't get the parts away. So what I recommend is if you're looking to get a high-end full suspension bike, don't look at the branding, don't look at what frame is there. All of them are almost the same now, you know, like everyone's tech has come to a good point. Look at what kind of equipment is on the bike and plan for when you fall. I'm not saying if you fall, I'm saying when you fall and when you break it, how are you guys going to replace it? Chain reaction is balls deep expensive. I mean, you guys fuck, you know, if you're going to ship it down, pay the duty, it's crazy. So you got to find stuff locally, speak to the company, see what they have. I'll give you an example. I had one crash and I broke this line, you know, for my, my brake line. And Shimano didn't have this brake line in stock, just this line. I had to pay like almost, I think, 8,000 bucks just to bring it down, to get a line, pay the shipping and a whole bunch of things just for one, one item. So when you guys are looking to, uh, to upgrade a bike, Forget the frame, forget the brand, forget all of that. Look for the parts, see what parts are available in India. Go with that. Don't be like a fanboy for any specific model or any specific uh, company or anything. Go be practical, figure out what parts are available. Plan those parts for the next two or three years, see who has it. And you know, that should sort your life out in a very nice way. Maintaining it is not as difficult uh, compared to a uh, hardtail. The only thing you have to take care of is this entire section. So you just got to take more care. Uh, I mean, you got to maintain your suspension a bit more often because you either have an air suspension or a hydraulic suspension. You got to give that to the rock shop or the fox dealers to open it up and clean up. The other bits are just keeping all this clean. I've done a terrible job. Uh, just ignore my bike. I've not cleaned it in a while. But you just got to make sure all the pivots, everything is moving properly. The thing is you have bushings in here. So these things end up, you know, moving after a while. So you need to check if that's all in place. And otherwise, as long as you don't crash it, throw it down a mountain or do the stuff we do, you'll be cool, you know. And it's not a big deal maintaining it. Uh, just it's an investment in the first bit with the sprays and a few uh, essential parts you got to keep stocked up and then it's almost same as a hot hill. it's not very very difficult for adventures treks cycling videos and running marathons subscribe to udigraphy